Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today guys I'm going to show you how to repair an iPhone 6 completely dead. Actually this phone comes on but it shows only Apple logo. It's stuck on Apple logo. And what I'm trying to show you is it's not always an error. If you try to restore the phone before replacing the charging I see the main charge charge chip for getting more power to the NAND. So if you try to replace if you if you try to restore without replacing this chip, it will cause you 4013 or might be 4014. So by doing that you're gonna damage the customer data. So before you do any restore, if it's in Apple logo, before you do anything, try to replace the charging I see if only if there's not enough current going through uh, without the battery. It should the, the motherboard should draw uh, I think it's 140 milliamps maximum, up to 140 milliamps. So it should show the Apple logo. If you can't see the Apple logo without the battery with the LCD connected, it means you have to replace the the charging I see first. Do not restore the phone because you lose all the data. So with all, all this being said, just change the charging I see it should be fine. I'm gonna show you. Actually, these kind of videos I'm I'm doing is more for like a business purpose. So if anyone wants to send the phone to recover data or something like that, just uh, send me a message over my Facebook page and uh, I'll quote you a price depending where which country you come from. So as you can see, I'm using some some simple tools here. All you need if you try to attempt on your own this repair is a foil, aluminium foil. This is what I use especially just to cover the motherboard. So the heat doesn't spread too much. I know a lot of guys will tell me there's no point using that. Yeah, that's true. If you really, really experienced and have lots of years as background in level three technicians, then yeah, you don't need it. But for a safety purpose, I always use this just not to damage the memory. Because if the heat spreads to the NAND, which is uh, quite close, it's just half a centimeter close, it will damage the memory, unfortunately. And uh, it will go in a uh, Actually, the phone will open if you fix the charging, you see, but it will start freezing, which is caused because um, the the NAND is a, a bit damaged. So, what you're gonna do might be after you're gonna try to restore, and it goes in the 4013 error, which means you have to remove the chip, the main NAND memory, and with the programmer you have to reset the memory, which I'm gonna show you in a few days with the next videos. It takes quite a lot. I'm I'm really. Uh, high experience with this kind of stuff so for me it takes maybe up to 25 minutes to, to to remove the memory and put it back after I reset the memory so with that say, being said uh, this video is just about how to replace a charging SIM it's quite easy if you got experience changing uh, other kind of chips this should be really straightforward for you clean whatever uh, whatever silicon type is on top remove the chip and uh, I'm gonna show you how to clean it as well and uh, just put it back make sure you align it proper use a small microscope or any kind of microscope to make sure it's aligned and that's pretty much all temperature what I use is 480 degrees I always use high temperature I mean the maximum temperature I can get from my solder station because I wanna do it as quickly as possible I do not wanna stay uh, with this temperature over the motherboard for way too long it could cause further damages so 480 degrees I use 30 to 40 uh, percent airflow which my uh, heat gun uh, allows me to use so that's pretty much it's a very straightforward job maybe it takes you half an hour and in the end I'll show you uh, after the charging I see is replaced the boost mode it will start working so that means uh, without the battery you will see actually the phone comes on but just the Apple logo, which means that the charging uh, mode that's why I'm saying it's a boost mode it starts working again, which means if your battery drops before be, uh, before yeah it drops below the um, three point seven it will it will charge from uh, zero again, okay, so that's pretty much all nothing really uh, sophisticated. As you can see I have a small microscope so I make sure everything is clean and uh, you will see I do not use solder station to uh, clean the pads I just use a copper uh, uh, tress is called or depending which country you're from it's a copper wire or something like that 
all, all I'm using is just that to clean with the heat gun and nothing more. If you if you learn this trick, it will save you a lot of time and also you I can bet you can change any kind of chips with this uh, technique. Okay. So just remember, 480 degree. I got level three on my airflow, and that's pretty much all. It's nothing complicated at all. If you want to go deep in uh, why the charging IC is not working by measuring uh, all the points, you have to use ZXW uh, tools as schematics, and uh, with th with that tools and schematics, you can get the actually the actual voltage over the pins there. So I can't really tell you every single pin way to check because. Uh, as you can see I just filmed it from this angle so I haven't filmed from top so you can see every single uh, movement I have done so with that being said it's quite straightforward to do it just change the chip do not restore if you want to save data and uh, that's pretty much all okay guys thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video cheers